Hello everyone, uh, welcome to um, the Tuesday's Read Chemistry lesson. Okay, uh, we're looking at a recap of acids and alcohols, right? So that's what we're going to look at. Um, this is from the Google Classrooms, all right? There is a practical to do uh, at the end, uh, so if you stick with this, have a look at it, have a got the tasks and get to the end and there's a, a nice practical for you to have a go at if you can do it of course, you know. Um, this comes from Google Classrooms, okay, it's been set on Google Classrooms. These are your codes, so if you're in year 7 this is what you use, if you're in year 8 this is what you use, okay. So let's begin, recap of acids and alkalis. Right, so what is an acid and alkali? Okay, okay, what is it? Okay, now I'm gonna go slightly um, answer this question in a different way. I'm gonna say, but how do we, how, but first we need to know how we know something is an acid and alkali. Okay, so rather than going, telling you straight what it is, okay, we want to know how do you know something is an acid and alkali. Now, you would have covered this before, but this is only uh, a recap and revision. Uh, there'll be some things that will jog your memory. Okay, right, now. We can use, what can we use? Well, do you hear you, what can we use? Well, we can use these things here. Okay, we can use those things, right? Uh, do you know what that is? If you can read it, it should tell you it is a universal, this is universal indicator. Got a bit of acid there, it's got a bit of red, alkali, a bit of purple. Okay, now you definitely would have seen these before. Right, it's made out of paper, and these also, also tell you what something's an acid and an alkali. Got some nice colours there, All right? Nice colours, right? So, right, what you've just seen there in slides are something called universal indicators. Okay, um, sometimes we call them UIs for short. All right, because we can be lazy like that. All right. Now, you saw some pretty colours as well. Okay, and that's telling you the pH scale. Right now. Well, okay, pH scale. Well, what we're talking about. Basically, uh, just like you know, we measure meters in sorry meters. We measure length in meters. Okay, we can measure length in centimeters. Okay, just like we can measure time in seconds or hours. Right. So pH is the same. It's like it's pH is saying you know whether something is acidic or alkali. Right. So. Let's let's expand on what I'm talking about. Now, this is the, something called the pH scale, right? Now, uh, you would have seen this before, okay? If not, okay, we're, we're looking at something new. Now, it looks like lovely, pretty colours, nice colours arranged, okay? But they're not just random colours done nicely. Although, although they do look nice, the colours do look nice, okay? They'll tell you if something is acid or, or alkali, or if something is strongly acid or strongly alkali, right? So look. If the colour is like this, means towards this end it's strongly alkali. If the colour is more redder, it is strongly acid. Okay. Now, if you get the universe indicator and it comes out as like an orangey colour, it's still acid. If it comes out a red colour, a deep red, it's still acid. But the deep red one will be more acidic than the orange one, and we say that's one, two, three. This one in the middle, okay, is neutral. Okay, pure water is neutral, right? pH seven is neutral. Okay, and this is the pH scale. All right, so you can see this is roughly what each everyday things are are the pH scale. So actually, milk is about six. Pure water, like I said in the previous slide, is around about seven. Eggs about eight. Uh, baking soda, got hand soft, that's 10. By the way, I hope you're washing your hands regularly. Wash your hands regularly for 20 seconds. You can say happy birthday twice, okay? Degree regularly, then you more. More, more, how you normally wash your hands more, I should say. Now, acid, stomach acid, which is gastric acid here, okay, it's about one and two. So these are like rough pHs, all right? So it's normally about one and two. So in your stomach, okay, something very acidic. Now, some of you might have, heard, might have had heartburn or would know if someone got heartburn, they have to take tablets. Okay, 
Um, what pH do you think those tablets are? All right, let's pause the video, let's think about it. Okay, they're going to be alkali. Okay, they're going to be alkali, right, with this end. Now, it's got base here, I know. Okay, base is basically, um, uh, you know, it's the same, similar to alkali. The other thing is that alkali are dissolved bases. Okay, so we can call them basic or alkali, but I'm going to use the alkali. All right, so we've got those tablets talking about that helps you get heartburn are around about here. Okay, what they do, they neutralize the acids. But we'll go into more on that on in the future. Okay, so just just be familiar with this. Right. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange these substances in acids or alkalis. So here they are. Pause the video and have a go. Right. I hope you've had a go. So let's have a look. So on this end we've got lemons. Sulfuric acid, you could say that because it says there. You, can, you know that, I should say, because it's got there. All right, we've got some lovely orange juice there. Got some stuff you put on chips. Lovely, lovely. Okay, and these are all acids. On this end, very liquid. Nice soap. Again, wash your hands regularly at current times, more than you normally do. Uh, okay, you've got the mustache, a little germ killer there. You got hydrochloric, so excuse me, you got sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Now you would have seen this in your labs in school. Okay. And you got Colgate, Colgate, so brush your teeth as well. Okay. And these are alkalis. Okay, these are alkalis. Right. Hopefully you would have got, got that. So let's up the challenge. All right. Now, this is what I want you to do. Now listen to what I want to ask you to do. Here's a table of some substances. Water, sodium hydrogen carbonate, ethanoic acid, sodium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid. Now you've got the pH there, which is going to be a number, the colour of the UA, which is the universal indicator, and you've got whether something's acid or alkali, or whether it's a strong acid or weak alkali, weak acid, strong acid, you know. Now if you look at the first one, all right, it's green. All right, so you would say the pH for water it's going to be seven and it's going to be neutral okay so what you need to do is on a, I'm going to reveal some of these and you need to fill in the rest of the information okay so look sodium hydrogen carbonate is a weak acid you need to say what's the color of the UI what is a pH ethanoic acid color is that you'd say whether it's strongly acid weakly acid etc etc what pH it is Sodium hydroxide, that's a pH. You only say what's the colour of the UI and so forth. And then you got hydrochloric acid, it's a strong acid, and you need to say whether it's what's the colour of the UI and what is a pH, right? So pause the video and have a think about doing this. Okay, pause. Right, you would have had a go by now. Hopefully you've had a go. Bit of self assessing going on here, so let's look at the first one sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now it's a weak alkali, okay? So it's going to be light green and blue, okay? It's going to be pH 9 to 10, okay? Ethanoic acid, orange and pink, so it's going to be about 3, okay? Um, strong acid, sodium hydroxide, it's blue and purple, it's a strong alkali. You got strong acid, which is obviously one, and it's going to be red and pink, all right? So hopefully you are like this. And if you haven't, don't worry. You know, just uh, go over my uh, slides again. Let's go back in the video, pause it, and um, have another go, all right? So let's move on. So let's go back to the original question. What exactly is an acid? Okay, remember the first slide, okay? Right, remember the first slide, or one of the, or the second slide, we want to say what exactly is an acid and alkali. And I said, well, we'll go back to that. We just we just want to see how we know something is acid and alkali. We looked at the pH scale, and we looked at whether this one goes red and purple and so forth. Okay, well, here's a definition. Acids form acidic solutions in water. 
Acids are sauce, which means where they come from. So it's not like tomato sauce or brown sauce. Sauce means where it comes from, like the sauce of the river. So acids, you could say it produces or is a, or, or a source of hydrogen ions. Now you might know what that means at the moment. Don't worry, we will look at this. Okay. Alkalis form alkaline solutions in water or a base dissolved in water produce alkaline solutions. Okay. Alkalis are a source of hydroxide ions. Okay, these things here. Okay, they're opposite. So these are opposite of each other. Now you won't know what these are at the moment. We have already covered it. Don't worry. Uh, well, I'll say you covered it. You covered it in your previous lessons. This is a revision lesson. Don't worry. We will we will touch on these things. Okay. So acids are a source of hydrogen ions. Alkalis are a source of hydroxide ions. Okay. Well, basically, nothing you can say is hydrogen produces. Well, it has a lot of hydrogen ions coming from it. Alkalis has a lot of hydroxide ions coming from it okay right so okay so what does all that mean okay what does all this means okay I've, I've said to you what, what exactly they are now let's have a look at what that exactly means right moving on here is a list of some acids right hydrochloric acid nitrate sulfuric acid okay and got phosphorus acid these are all acids what do they all have in common? Okay, pause it, and pause the video, and think what it has in common. Well, what you would have said is they all have H. Okay, again, right, okay, so what? We've got H's. Okay, well, what does that mean when it comes to acids? Well, let's have a look. Oh, H's, this H, okay. They all have hydrogen okay so what does that mean okay so when an acid dissolves in water it splits up so here's hydrogen chloride now it splits up into h plus cr minus and remember we said about these these are called hydrogen ions remember the previous slide we looked at these are called hydrogen ions and there's a positive and they're split up from chlorine here. So let's see, that's gone here, split up there, that's gone there, it's split up. So, it's, you know, acids dissolves in water and it splits up and it always produces hydrogen ions. Okay, so here we've got some of this. Can you predict the rest? What's going to happen? If, if you dissolve this in water, dissolve that in water, dissolve that in water. Pause the video and think about some ideas. Okay, you would have come back. So basically, let's look at this one, right? Again, it splits up into hydrogen and this one here, and it's negative, okay? Right. Now, next one. This has got two hydrogens, so it produces two hydroxide ions, okay? And let's look at the final one. Oh, what's happened there? It produces three, because look, it's got three. Okay. All right. So when it dissolves acids in water, it splits up into hydrogens, hydrogen ions. Okay. All right. And, you know, that is like, that is simply a very basic definition of an acid. Of course, it's a bit more complicated than that, but at the moment, that's what you need to be aware of. So go back to our definition acids are sources of hydrogen ions which are these now if our clothes uh, uh, in water split up it produces hydroxide ions okay, which are negative okay so acid splits up into two parts called ions one of these is a hydrogen ion right the more hydrogen ions an acid releases the stronger the acid is okay so here's a, some battery acids it's a very strong acid so it's got lots of hydrogen ions and the university indicator sees this sees these and thinks okay then let's go red so the universe indicator sees these hydrogen ions it goes okay okay i'll go red then and you get a lovely red here okay okay what about alkalis well alkalis split up well alkalis split up makes hydroxide ions but what we can say is a definition we can say is alkalis will use up the hydrogen ions, okay? 
The strongest alkalis will use up lots of hydrogen ions. It's kind of like yum, yum, yum. So alkalis think yum, yum, yum. I like some of these. Okay, I like some of these. Well, actually, I should say that the hydroxide ions likes these because yum, yum, yum. Okay, right? And the more hungry it is, the more hydroxide ions it's produced, the more hydrogen ions it can, you know, go for. You know, the stronger the alkali. So let's look at an example. So here we have some caustic acid. Sorry, oh, what am I saying? Caustic soda. What tea boy there? So caustic soda. Okay, it's a strong alkali. It takes up a lot of hydrogen ions because yum yum yum, lots of hydrogen ions. So therefore, the universe indicator thinks, okay, it's hungry. It's hungry for hydrogen ions, so it goes dark purple, and that's what causes the color change. Right? Do you see? So they're the opposites. Acids and alkalis are the opposites. Hard Acids produce a lot of hydrogen ions, and the alkaline does the opposite. It goes, okay, then I'll produce a lot of hydroxides, and it goes yum 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 and eats the hydrogen ions. Right, I've got a bit of reflection now. Okay, let's get a bit of reflection. You can have a bit of a minute break, you pause the video. Okay, now what we to do is write down if these substances are acidic or alkali. Are they weak or are they strong? Pause the video and go. Right, what you should have had is this. Soda, water, it's, it's a very weak acid. Six, let's look at that, six is about there. Car, battery acid is very strong acid. Soap, it's very weak alkali. Okay, and hopefully you would have got this. Great. Right, what to do now? Okay, there's two things you could do now. Go back to Google Classrooms, okay, and you can try one of the following two things. You can either do this, do a Kahoot task, okay, now how do you do that? Well, basically, all you need to do is go on this website, Kahoot, okay, and then you got to type in this number onto this site, and it'll take you to a Kahoot task that I have set you, okay, you can do this, all right, see how you get on. Or, you can have got this. Right, so um, you can have a go at this, right, uh, instead of the Kahoot task, right? Believe it or not, you can make your own universal indicator at home. You use red cabbage. That's quite cool, don't you think? You can actually make your very own universal indicator at home, right? Right? Now, to do that, you need to watch this clip, this uh, video clip. Now, this contains all the information you need. All right, this is what you need. You'll need red cabbage, water, of course, knife, blender, ice cube trays, household ingredients, six clay glasses, jugs, sieve, rubber gloves. Okay, and instructions. All right, you've got chop up cabbage, put the cabbage in a blender with some water, strain solution to a bowl using a jug, pour your household ingredients into the glasses, leave one glass empty, add the cabbage solution, get adult supervision, use washing up gloves. Okay. Do this properly. So use washing up gloves. Now this video will tell you how to do it. It shows you how to do it. It's got the instructions. All right, and it obviously tells you what you need. All right. Now this is probably the most important thing on here. Follow the health and safety. Keep safe and get adult supervision. If you cannot, then do the code test on the previous slide. Okay. Get adult permission before you gather household things so you need household ingredients you need all these bits and pieces that'll just go into your house and and your all your flat and start getting things get adult permission all right some chemicals can be dangerous and so wear washing up gloves okay so if you, you have even you know if you don't go and get some lemon juice all right get some adult permission you need a knife to chop at the red cabbage, so get adult supervision. Supervision, or I could get the adult to cut up all your bits and pieces and for the blender. If you cannot, then do Kahoot task instead. Okay. And of course, no, stay safe. Keep away from face and eyes. Do not drink. Okay. Do not drink. Okay. Do not drink. Okay, and all this stuff on here looks like you know stuff you can have, like red cabbage you might like, but you know 
don't eat it or do not drink it. Anything off here, what you get. You know, don't even have a water from here because you use water for, for, for this practical. Or, you know, get water for water from separate, you know, away from where you're doing your practical. Okay. Uh, have a go. Uh, it'd be nice if you could upload, upload what you've done. You know, upload Google Classrooms. Upload, see what you've done, see what it looks like, see how well you've done, and see what, what is acid and what, what is alkali, what is neutral. You know, that'd be nice. Again, just watch this video, this contains everything. And if you're unsure, and you're not sure, you can't get out of permission, and you're not, you don't think your health, you're safe, all right, then do the code task. But if you do do this, that'd be great. You make it very own universal indicator, and uh, up, up, done. That'd be great. Enjoy. Bye.